Hi, my name is Amy Heisey, and in today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw one of my favorite saints, Saint Joan of Arc. Her feast day is on May 30th, and I'm going to show you how to draw her using simple lines and simple shapes. For this project, all you need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. The first thing we're going to work on is her head. So we are going to be doing an oval shape close to the top of our paper to create the size of her head. You can do any shape, but an oval is what I'm going to be doing for this example. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to create her neck. So underneath where her chin would be, I'm going to do one line over on the left side one line over on the right side, and I'm going to connect them at the bottom with a shape that reminds me of the letter V. We're going to be putting in two lines for her shoulder. So starting at that V shape, I'm going to do one line slightly towards the left and one line slightly towards the right to create her shoulders. And I'm going to be doing her torso next. So we're going to be doing two lines that come down to create her torso, and they're just slightly angled in. So one line will come down over towards the left side, and the other line will come slightly in from the right. I want to connect those lines down at the bottom to create her waist, so I'm going to draw a line that comes across like this. And to create this um, part of her armor, I'm going to start at my neck and draw a line that comes straight down. We're going to be putting in two triangles for her armor. So where her shoulders are, I'm going to draw a line for the top on each side like so. Then I'm going to draw a second line that connects to her torso and that creates this part of her armor, kind of like triangle shapes. We're going to be drawing in two lines to create the first part of her arms. So making sure that we're leaving a little bit of space between this part of the armor and her arm, I'm going to put a line that comes down like this and another one closer to her torso that comes down like that, slightly longer. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We'll have a slightly shorter line for the top part of her arm and a slightly longer line, but going the same direction for the bottom part of her arm. Over on this left side, I'm going to do a curved line. Think kind of like the letter C or a parenthesis. I'm going to connect this top and bottom with this little curve. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to do a little curve like this, and that's creating this edge of her armor. Over on the left, her arm is out. So I'm going to draw one line for the top and one line here for the bottom. And for this part of the armor over on the right, I'm going to have it angled upwards since she is holding up that flag. So I'm going to do a diagonal line coming up and I'm going to have one coming up this way and I'm going to have it connect at the bottom to create that part of her arm. For the hands, um, she's wearing gloves in my example, so we're going to be doing simple um, circle and oval shapes for um, how her fingers are gripping the sword and the flag. So um, I'm going to start off with a kind of circle or oval shape to create this part of her hand and it's connected to the armor. I'll do a circle shape over here to create this hand. And we have a little curve for um, where the thumb is sticking out. So over here on this left side, by the armor, you're going to draw a little curve. That's for her thumb. And we're going to do one over here on the left side of this oval shape.
We'll come back and we'll do the sword and the flag later. We're going to finish up her armor now. We have these two slightly curved lines that are creating the bottom of her armor. I'm going to draw one line that comes out just a little bit and I want to stop about here and I'm going to do the same thing over on the right. I'm going to do a slightly curved line coming down but this time towards the right and that is creating that part. So on each side I want to have a line come in towards the middle but I want to stop leaving a gap in between and then I want to draw one line coming up on each side like this and then I want to connect them up at the top so it looks like kind of like a square is cut out. To finish up the armor I want to draw these lines that come straight across. Um, you can do as many or as few as you can fit in your drawing depending on how big that part of your armor is. So I'm just going straight across with my pencil and just connecting it to the other side kind of like this. Sometimes in um, artwork of Joan of Arc you'll see her wearing a skirt. Sometimes you'll see no skirt and just her armor. So however you want to change it is up to you. We as artists we make lots of decisions and so the decision of how you want your Joan of Arc to look is up to you. Um, I'm going to be doing a skirt underneath her armor. So kind of continuing where this armor ended, I'm going to be drawing a line that comes down towards the left, making sure that I'm leaving room for where I want her feet to be at the bottom. And I'm going to do the same over on this right side. I'm doing a diagonal line coming down and I'm making sure that it's matching the length of my skirt on the left side. And I'm going to connect them at the bottom with a line. For her feet, um, she has these armor boots, I guess. Um, they kind of have like a triangle point um, for the top part of the shoe. So wherever you want her feet to go, you're going to draw a triangle. The one on this left side, it's angled out and down towards the left, kind of like this. So where you want the toe to be, that part of your triangle is going to be a little bit longer. And I want this toe to be pointed at an angle down towards the right. So I'm going to make sure that my triangle is pointed down towards the right and just a little bit longer for where I want that toe to be. Then what I want to do is I want to connect this triangle to the skirt with two lines. So one is going to go on the left side and the one on the right is going to connect with this bottom edge of the triangle. I'm going to do the same on this side. Where this ankle is, that's where I want it to connect to this line. And then I'm going to draw another one right here. And you might have noticed that there is a third line that connects from the top point of the triangle to the skirt. We're going to be putting in the sword next. So above the hand, I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to draw some lines to create my rectangle shape. And you can make this hilt however long or short you want it to be in your artwork. And down at the bottom, I'm going to put a little oval shape underneath the hand for where this part of the handle is sticking out. For the sword, right in the middle, I'm going to be drawing this line right here. And the reason I'm doing that center line is so I can center my sword. So I'm doing a straight up and down line for however long I want that sword to be. And once I get that line drawn out, I'm going to create these downward diagonal lines that are creating the point for the sword up at the top. So starting at that line, I'm going to do one towards the left and one towards the right, just slightly angled down. And I am going to connect them 
to this hilt down at the bottom with a really long line that comes on either side of that center line that we drew in at the beginning of our sword. For the flag, we're going to do two long parallel lines that come all the way um, down, starting at the top. So I want the top of the flag to come up kind of past um, where her head is or close to where her head is. So I'm starting with a single line and I'm coming down, stopping at her hand, and then I'm going to continue that line down all the way towards the bottom of my page, however long I want that flag to be. I want to do a parallel line coming down next to this big line that I drew out. So right next to it, but with just a little bit of space to the right, I'm going to add another line, stopping at the hand and then continuing all the way down, making sure it's the same length as my first line. And I want to connect it at the bottom and at the top, and that creates that long pole. I have this little line right here where I can see her arm sticking out, so I'm just going to erase that with my eraser because I no longer need that. Next, we're going to be working on the flag. So um, I'm actually going to start with the bottom of the flag right here. So I'm going to start off by drawing a line that comes across my paper like this, but then I want it to hook around into a curve like that. So right now it kind of looks like a candy cane turned sideways. I want this to curve towards the right, kind of back, so I'm creating another curve and I'm going to have it come all the way out until I reach the edge of my flag like this. To create the top of the flag, this is what we're going to do. At the top of the pole, you're going to draw a line that comes straight across, but you want it to stop when it lines up with this first curve. And I'm going to take this line at the top and I'm going to connect it to the curve at the bottom like this. Then what I'm going to do is here on this curve, I'm going to add a straight up and down line like this. And this is creating the fabric of the flag that is blowing behind. And the last thing that I'm going to do to finish off the flag is slightly lower than the top of the flag. You want to put a straight across line like this. And then um, in this space, I'm going to draw some diagonal lines meeting at the middle, kind of like the point of a triangle. And that is creating the edge of that flag. For Joan's hair, we are going to be doing kind of this page boy style haircut. So I have bangs and I'm going to draw them close to the top of my oval. I'm just going to start off with a line that goes straight across like this. And you could leave it like that and that's some nice bangs. But what I'm going to do is I want to add this little triangle point over here. That way it looks like her hair is starting to, um, it's kind of, it's not fully solid, it's just a little hint of like a part or the way the hair is falling on her face. So I'm going to draw a little triangle point here over towards the right. You can put this wherever you want and I'm just going to erase this tiny bit. The sides of her hair are these little curved lines, think kind of like a parenthesis. So starting over here on the left side, I'm going to curve my pencil around and connect it to her face, however long or short I want that hair to be. And I'm going to do the same on this right side, starting at the top of the head. I'm angling my pencil down 
and then curving it in to connect to her head. You can make her hair as short or as long as you wish. You see her hair all different lengths and you see it in different styles in the different paintings and drawings and artwork that we have of her. So you can customize your Joan to look however you wish. For the face, I just did simple circles for the eyes. I added just like a hint of an eyelash and you can make any adjustments that you want to in your artwork. But underneath the bang somewhere, I want to add two simple circles because I am doing a simple face. And I'm just gonna add the hint of an eyelash on each circle, just a little curved line that comes up. I'm going to give her some eyebrows. And for the nose, halfway in between where her eyes are and where her chin is, I want to put a little curved line or kind of V for the bottom of her nose. And I want to add kind of the hint of the bridge of her nose. So in between her eyes in this space right here, I'm going to be doing a downwards pencil stroke. And that creates the bridge of her nose. And in between her nose and her chin, I'm going to do a line kind of coming across for just a little bit of her mouth. And you can make her smiling, serious, mouth open, close, your choice. I'm going to erase these lines here on the head um, where the oval shape was kind of getting in the way of her hair. And that is the last official step of the drawing, unless there's any other details that you want to add. Maybe you want to give her a halo or like some laurels, or you want to draw something on the flag or a pattern on the skirt. However you want to customize it is up to you. And I'm going to be using markers, but you can use your favorite art supplies to work on coloring her in. One thing that I love to do when I draw with markers is I love to use a black pen to outline things first. So we'll go ahead and work on coloring our Joan and get back together in a second. Every week on my channel, I post new Catholic inspired art tutorials like this one, so be sure to check them out. And I would love to see how your artwork turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. Another way you can help support my channel is through my Buy Me a Coffee page and art supply wish list. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much, and He loves your artwork very much. Thank you so much for drawing with me, and I'll see you in the next video.